know about you, but in the sorting tool, I was pretty certain that the animal, like the snail, um, gives off carbon dioxide. Um, but I wasn't really sure about the plant or the decomposers, um, the mushrooms, for example, or, or the dead stuff, like the dead leaves. Um, and I, I know that plants can take in carbon dioxide um, and produce energy storage molecules through that process of photosynthesis, um, but I'm not entirely sure if they um, give off carbon dioxide or not. Um, so as we investigate this question, where does the carbon dioxide in abiotic matter come from, we need um, a little bit more uh, data to analyze to be sure my hunch on animals giving out carbon dioxide from things that I know and to really help me decide whether plants give off carbon dioxide um, or not or just take it in, okay? So we're gonna watch um, a video of an experiment with a snail, which is an animal, and an elodia uh, plant, it's an aquatic plant, and we're gonna con watch this video of someone conducting an experiment to see if uh, the snail and the elodia do in fact give off carbon dioxide or not. Um, and as we watch the video, there's gonna be two parts. I want you to ask yourself these three questions, record them on your paper or talk with them, um, with that family member or friend on video chat that you have nearby. Um, so we're gonna think about do producers like the Elodia give off or take in carbon dioxide and how we know that from the experiment. And then do consumers like the snail give off or take in carbon dioxide and how do we know that? Remember consumer again is an organism that needs to eat other organisms to get those energy storage molecules. They don't produce them like a producer does. And then lastly, what do these answers mean about where the carbon dioxide in abiotic matter comes from? As that's what we're trying to investigate here in lesson 2.1, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up those videos. Um, so here's the first one. Last time we saw that plants use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. But where does the carbon dioxide in an ecosystem come from? In this experiment, we see whether producers or consumers give off carbon dioxide. In the box, we have a producer, the water plant called Elodia, and a consumer, the snail. First, we start with three vials, each containing water and a chemical that tells us how much carbon dioxide is in the vials. The chemical's color will change according to the amount of carbon dioxide. Yellow means that there's a high level of carbon dioxide. Green means that there's a low level. And blue means that there is no carbon dioxide. Right now, the vials have no carbon dioxide because we want to test which organisms give off carbon dioxide. Next, we'll add an elodia plant to vial B and a freshwater snail to vial C. Vial A, with no organism, will be the control group. Finally, we wrap all three vials in foil. We don't want light to interfere with our results since we know that plants perform photosynthesis and take in carbon dioxide from the environment in the light. We're gonna check back with the vials after 12 hours. What do you think will happen to the carbon dioxide levels? All right, so what do you think will happen? Remember that in this experiment, we're using a uh, solution, an indicator, that's going to change color if there is carbon dioxide present. So as you saw at the beginning, each of the vials were blue, indicating there was no carbon dioxide. And so what we're gonna look for after 12 hours is a color change. Is it green, meaning there's a little bit of carbon dioxide, or yellow, meaning there's a high level of carbon dioxide? So if we see a color change, that means there is carbon dioxide present and those um, objects, the snail or the elodia produced that carbon dioxide. And if we don't see a color change, then that means that there wasn't any carbon dioxide produced. So make a prediction, what do you think will happen? And I'm gonna go ahead and get up here next, a video of our results. So let's unwrap the vials to see what happened. 
It looks like vial A, the control, is unchanged, which we expected. Vial B and C, the plant and the snail, have changed color. First they were blue, and now they're yellow. This means that both producers and consumers give off carbon dioxide. Wow, I was surprised by that. Were you?